Drones are the new front line of modern military engineering. They've become some of the deadliest weapons ever built, capable of projecting power anywhere, at any time. But which of these incredible machines truly dominate 21st century warfare? In this video, we'll find out as we count down the top 10 most powerful military drones in the world. Number 10. We are kicking off this countdown with something that sounds like it came straight out of a sci-fi movie. The XQ-58 Valkyrie. Imagine for a second that you are a fighter pilot in an F-35 flying into hostile territory. It is scary, right? Now imagine you have a robot best friend flying right next to you, ready to take a missile for you or scout ahead so you do not have to. That is exactly what the Valkyrie is designed to be. It is part of this wild new concept called the Loyal Wingman Program. This drone is not just a camera in the sky, it is a stealthy, long-range, unmanned combat aerial vehicle that looks absolutely slick. It does not even need a runway to take off, which is the crazy part. It uses rocket boosters to launch straight up and then opens a parachute to land when it is done. So you can literally deploy this thing from the middle of nowhere. It has a range of about 5,600 kilometers, which means it can travel massive distances without breaking a sweat. It flies at high subsonic speeds, roughly 1,050 kilometers per hour, making it fast enough to keep up with the jets it is protecting. What makes it truly terrifying for the bad guys is that it carries its weapons inside an internal bay. Why does that matter? Because it keeps the drone stealthy and hard to spot on radar. It can carry up to 272 kilograms of precision bombs, like the GBU-39 small diameter bomb. It is essentially a low-cost bodyguard for expensive piloted jets. The idea is that if a mission gets too dangerous, you send the Valkyrie in first because losing a robot is way better than losing a pilot. Before we move to the next beast, hit that subscribe button if you want daily updates on the craziest military tech out there. You do not want to miss what is coming next. Number 9. Moving from the United States to Turkey, we have a drone that is blurring the line between a UAV and a full-blown fighter jet, the Bayraktar Kızılelma. If you looked at this thing from a distance, you would swear it was a manned jet because it has delta wings and canards, which are those little wings near the nose that help with maneuvering. Kızılelma literally translates to red apple, but do not let the sweet name fool you, this machine is aggressive. Unlike the older drones that move slowly and just watch the ground, this one is built for air-to-air -air combat. Yes, you heard that right. This drone is designed to dogfight against other planes. It is powered by a jet engine, and depending on the version, it can reach supersonic speeds. We are talking about speeds over 1,100 kilometers per hour. It has a takeoff weight of about 6,000 kilograms and can carry 1,500 kilograms of payload. That is a lot of missiles. One of the coolest features is that it is designed to take off and land on short runway aircraft carriers like the TCG Anadolu. Most drones cannot do that. It uses an internal weapons bay to stay stealthy, just like the Valkyrie we just talked about, but it can also carry weapons on the wings if stealth is not a priority. It is equipped with an AESA radar, which is the same high-tech radar you find in modern fighter jets giving it eyes that can see everything. The Turkish engineers really push the envelope here, creating a machine that can fly for five hours straight and operate at an altitude of 10,000 meters. It creates a pattern interruption in how we think about air superiority because usually you need a human in the cockpit for high-speed maneuvers, but the Kuzalelma is proving that wrong. It is a glimpse into a future where the aces of the sky might be sitting in a shipping container miles away. Number 8. Now we are heading over to China to look at something very mysterious and very deadly. The GJ-11 Sharp Sword. Just look at the shape of this thing. It is a flying wing, similar to the American B-2 bomber, but much smaller and unmanned. That shape is not for show, it is purely for stealth. The sharp angles and the lack of a tail fin mean that radar waves bounce off it in a way that makes it almost invisible to enemy detection systems. If you are an enemy radar operator, this thing might look like a tiny bird, 
or it might not show up at all until it is too late. The sharp sword is designed for one main job, which is penetrating deep into enemy territory without being seen and dropping precision-guided munitions. It has a single turbofan engine tucked deep inside the body to hide the heat signature, making it hard to track with infrared missiles too. It has a wingspan of about 14 meters and takes off at a weight of around 20,000 kilograms. It can carry a payload of roughly 2,000 kilograms in internal weapon bays. Why internal? Because hanging bombs on the wings would ruin the stealth profile, and the whole point of this drone is to be a ghost. It is reported to have a combat radius of over 1,200 kilometers, meaning it can strike targets far from the Chinese mainland. There is also a version being developed for aircraft carriers, which would give the Chinese Navy a massive reach advantage. It is a serious piece of hardware that shows just how fast military tech is advancing in the East. It makes you wonder, does total stealth make traditional air defenses obsolete? While you ponder that scary thought, smash that like button if you enjoy deep dives into stealth technology. Number 7. Speaking of flying wings and stealth, Russia has entered the chat with the S-70 Okotnik. The name Okotnik means hunter in Russian, and it is a very fitting name for this heavy strike drone. This machine is massive. It is designed to work alongside the Su-57, which is Russia's fifth generation fighter jet. Think of it as the heavyweight boxer of drones. It weighs about 20,000 kilograms at takeoff, which is huge for an unmanned vehicle. It can reach speeds of 1,000 kilometers per hour, so it is definitely not slow. The design is a classic flying wing to minimize its radar cross-section, making it a stealthy predator. But here is the kicker. The Okotnik is not just about sneaking around. It is about bringing the pain. It has two internal weapons bays that can hold up to 2,000 kilograms of ammunition, including unguided bombs, guided missiles, and even air-to-air -air missiles. The idea is that the Su-57 pilot can control the Okotnik from their cockpit, using the drone to attack heavily defended targets while the pilot stays safe. It is like having a remote-controlled pit bull. The range is impressive too, estimated at around 6,000 kilometers. One interesting thing to note is the engine exhaust. Early prototypes had a regular round nozzle which is bad for stealth, but newer versions have a flat nozzle to hide the heat and improve its stealth capabilities. It really shows the evolution of Russian engineering. They are trying to combine brute force with high-tech invisibility. Can you imagine a swarm of these hunters flying towards you? It is the stuff of nightmares. Number 6. Let us go back to Turkey because they have another heavy hitter on the list. The Bayraktar Akinçu. If the Kuzalelma is the fighter jet of drones, the Akinçu is the heavy bomber. This thing is huge with a wingspan of 20 meters. It looks like a giant glider with two turboprop engines, and it sounds very distinct. The Akunchu is a high-altitude long-endurance drone, often called Hail. It can fly up to 12,000 meters in the sky, which is higher than most commercial airliners cruise. It can stay up there for 24 hours, just waiting and watching. But do not think it is just a spy. The name Akunchu means raider, and it lives up to that title. It has a payload capacity of 1,500 kilograms, which is insane. It can carry everything from small smart munitions to massive cruise missiles like the SOM cruise missile. It is basically a flying weapons truck. It is also extremely smart. It uses artificial intelligence to detect targets and understand its environment. So it does not rely 100% on the operator for every little thing. It has flew across three countries to get to an air show, proving its long-range reliability. The engines are actually Ukrainian, showing an interesting partnership between the two nations. It has transformed the way Turkey conducts operations because it can stay over a target area for a whole day, ensuring nothing moves without them knowing. It is a relentless machine that never gets tired, never needs a coffee break, and never blinks. Number 5. You cannot have a list of powerful drones without mentioning the legend, the MQ-9 Reaper. This is the drone that changed everything. When people think of military drones, this is usually the image that pops into their heads. Developed by General Atomics for the United States, the Reaper is the bigger, badder brother of the original Predator drone. It is a hunter-killer designed for long endurance, high-altitude surveillance, 
and strike missions. It is powered by a turboprop engine that gives it a speed of around 480 kilometers per hour. It might not be supersonic like the Kuzalelma, but it does not need to be. Its strength is loitering. It can stay airborne for 27 hours fully loaded. That is more than a whole day of staring at a target. It has a wingspan of 20 meters and can carry 1,700 kilograms of weapons externally. We are talking about the famous Hellfire missiles, GBU-12 Paveway, two laser-guided bombs, and even GBU-38 JDAMS. It is incredibly precise. The Reaper has been the workhorse of the American military for nearly two decades. It has incredible sensors in that ball under the nose, including infrared cameras and lasers to paint targets for other aircraft. It is amazing to think how this one machine made the term drone warfare a household phrase. It is reliable, deadly, and proven in combat zones all over the world. While newer, stealthier drones are coming out, the Reaper is still the king of the hill when it comes to operational experience. It is the gold standard that every other combat drone is measured against. Number four, but what happens when you take the Reaper and give it a jet engine? You get the MQ-20 Avenger, formerly known as the Predator C. This is General Atomic's answer to the need for speed and stealth. While the Reaper is great, it is slow and easy to spot on radar because of its propeller and external weapons. The Avenger fixes that. It has a jet engine that pushes it to speeds of about 740 kilometers per hour. That is a massive jump in performance. It allows the drone to get to the target area much faster and escape if things get hot. It also has a stealthier design with internal weapons bays that can hold 1,360 kilograms of munitions. This reduces its radar signature, making it harder for anti-aircraft systems to lock onto it. It can fly as high as 15,000 meters and stay airborne for 18 hours. It is designed to operate in higher threat environments where a Reaper might get shot down. The Avenger is also a testbed for advanced technologies, like high-energy lasers and advanced AI swarming capabilities. Imagine a drone that shoots lasers. We are living in the future. It retains the same ground control station as the Reaper, which makes it easy for pilots to switch between the two. It acts as a bridge between the current generation of hunter killers and the future generation of autonomous stealth combat drones. It is faster, sneakier, and just as deadly. If you think jet-powered drones are cooler than propeller ones, hit that like button right now. Number three. Now let us look at the CH-5 Rainbow, or Kai Hong-5, from China. If the Reaper had a twin brother who went to the gym and focused purely on endurance, it would be the Rainbow-5. This drone is a beast when it comes to flight time. It is designed to stay in the air for a staggering 60 hours. That is two and a half days. Imagine the pilot shifts required just to keep this thing flying. It has a wingspan of 21 meters and can carry a payload of 1,000 kilograms. While it looks very similar to the American Reaper, it is built with a different philosophy. The Chinese focus on quantity and cost effectiveness. It carries up to 16 air-to-ground missiles, which is a lot of firepower for one drone. It is powered by a 300-horsepower piston engine, which is why it has such incredible fuel economy, although it does make it slower than the Reaper, with a top speed of roughly 300 kilometers per hour. But speed is not the point here. The point is to park a drone over an area and leave it there until the enemy gives up or makes a mistake. It is capable of conducting reconnaissance and strike missions in the same flight. It is also being exported to several countries because it is much cheaper than Western alternatives. It is a clear example of how China is catching up in the drone arms race, offering capable heavy drones that can flood the battlefield. It might not be the fastest or the stealthiest, but its ability to just hang in the sky forever makes it a unique threat. Number two, we are nearing the end, and we have to talk about the pride of Israel, the Heron TP, also known as the Etan. Israel has been a pioneer in drone technology for decades, and the Heron TP is their masterpiece. This is a massive medium-altitude long-endurance UAV. The wingspan is enormous, stretching 26 meters, which is as wide as a Boeing 737 airliner. That massive wing allows it to fly at altitudes of over 13,000 meters, 
keeping it well out of range of many ground-based air defense systems. It can stay airborne for over 30 hours. The Aton is designed for a variety of missions, from target acquisition to electronic intelligence. It can carry a payload of over 1,000 kilograms. While Israel is often quiet about the specific offensive capabilities, it is widely believed to be capable of carrying air-to-ground missiles for strike missions. It uses a 1,200-horsepower turboprop engine, which gives it plenty of power to haul heavy sensors and fuel. It is an all-weather drone, meaning it can operate in conditions that would ground smaller UAVs. It features automatic takeoff and landing systems, reducing the risk of human error during the most critical phases of flight. The Heron TP is a strategic asset. It can keep an eye on entire regions, gathering intelligence that shapes the decisions of generals and politicians. It is big, it is sophisticated, and it is watching from so high up you would never even know it was there. But is bigger always better? Wait until you see our number one spot. Number one. Finally, at number one, we have the ultimate eye in the sky, the RQ-4 Global Hawk. This machine is in a league of its own. It is not designed to drop bombs. It is designed to see everything. It is a high-altitude, long-endurance surveillance aircraft that costs more than many fighter jets. We are talking about a price tag of over $130 million per unit. It has a wingspan of nearly 40 meters, which is wider than many commercial passenger jets. It flies at an altitude of 18,000 meters. To give you some context, that is almost twice as high as your holiday flight cruises. At that height, it can survey 100,000 square kilometers of terrain in a single day. That is an area the size of South Korea. It stays in the air for more than 30 hours at a time. It carries an incredible suite of sensors, including synthetic aperture radar that can see through clouds and sandstorms, and high-resolution optical cameras that can read a license plate from the stratosphere. It is practically a satellite that you can bring back down to Earth. It has no weapons because its weapon is information. In modern warfare, knowing exactly where the enemy is, is more valuable than any bomb. It is powered by a Rolls-Royce turbofan engine, giving it a speed of 629 kilometers per hour. It is the backbone of strategic intelligence for the U.S. and its allies. It is the most powerful drone not because of the destruction it causes, but because of the situational awareness it provides. And there you have it, folks. These were the 10 best drones in the world. Which of these machines really impressed you? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see much more rankings like these.